people have spent <clears throat> much of their career trying to reach audiences through humor, like basically comedians, basically. It's always come from a loving place, a joyful place, wanting to free people from any concern. We know that hearing a performer give voice to the things that we're thinking and feeling can be an enormous relief, and that laughing hysterically at a willing fool is almost is almost always good medicine. But relying on jokes can sometimes cancel out the ser seriousness of what you're trying to say to the crowd. At this moment, the best anyone can offer is gallows humor. The truth is we should all be seriously concerned. The United States faces catastrophe. That that's a world that's a word from that's a word from my world drama. It, um, catastrophe is an ancient Greek word meaning overturn or a sudden turn. This is what we have suffered. Untold American lives have been ruined by the fake presidency of Donald Trump. The role of law is unparall is unparalleled over unity, and our unity has been shattered. The service sector has been liberated, and a and a major and major cities are suffering. Black Americans who have endured half a, half a millennium of wickedness and brutality now face war and justice and death. Last week, last week amid all his suffering, all the suffering, um, fat ass Trump and his accolades held their totally illegal COVID nineteen super spreader spectacular event at the White House, which was in which was in clear by which was in clear violation of the Hatch Act. It got me thinking. Of, it got me thinking about the great director Francis Ford Coppola. Who, master, who masterfully wove together evil deeds and pious words in classic films. Watching the fat-ass watching the fat ass Trump accept the nomination of the Republican Party in the People's House during the pandemic, he he exacerbated was um he exacerbated was like watching Michael Corleone swear a sacred oath while he while his underlings while his underlings settled scores across the um, city. Those in the audience, those in the audience in the soft lawn of the White House might have believed that their lives were their own were their own to lose, but after but after that big night, they now risk infecting other Americans. Um, fat ass Trump and the GOP have decided not to heed science, leaving us helpless during a plague. But as far as I know, plagues don't care about re-election campaigns. They don't wither in the face of the Secret Service, and they don't succumb to the intimidation of goon squads, and they don't respect the families that of um of gluttonous aspiring monarchs. How did a how did a Borgias um, New York con man convince so many people he was on their side? Was it the tr was it the trucker's hat? I'm wearing sandals right now, but that doesn't make me Gandhi. Was it the phoning coverage on, on cable news? I I know funny phone news is a joke. That's not funny, and it's not and it's being and it's being told at the expense of our democracy. Was it his performance on the WWF or The Apprentice? I was amused to see. Um, the fat ass Trump played the self made billionaire in Home Alone too, but the fake presidency is not to performance art. People's lives depend on him, our future is at stake. Where did the modern where did the modern Republican Party's cruelty come from? Too many Americans support the fat ass forty five because he appeals to their to their basis and most primitive urges. Through his through his racist his miso through his racism, his misogyny, his mockery of the disabled, and his encourage and his encouragement of violence during his campaign. If you consider yourself a patriot, know full well that the that the direction of the Republican Party has taken threats to liberate America's once hopeful experiment in liberty. Fat ass, fat ass Trump's party has no platform other than the promise of more wealth for the few and law and order for the disposed. His failed presidency has has seen markets rise and corporations prosper, even as ordinary Americans suffer and go without. In this economy. And of larceny and lies, this is true even for his most devoted, um, his devoted and bred supporters who are now fully aware that he is trying to sabotage the election. I only hope the maggot hats are edible. Amer America has always been redeemed by those who challenge it to do better. Today, some true patriots refuse to stand for an anthem that has never s stood for all Americans, challenging the country to live, ch challenging the country to live up to its ideals. If Americans can look out for one another, we can gain back our self-respect and the respect of our allies around the world. When our anthem stands for love, tolerance, courage, and everything our better angels value, then we can all stand together. When when the, when some when, when this person said that when they were a little boy in Canada, they watched old Superman reruns, and they fell in love with the United States. Um, uh, basically, the person, the boy was the guy. The guy was blessed to be able to come here and to realize his wildest dreams. In 2004, he proudly became a citizen, but lately, basically what he refers to as, as his adopted home has become almost unrecognizable. What the fuck happened to truth, justice, and the American way? That line was written when the Nazis were ravaged in Europe and America was the hero of the world. It's more than a line from a TV show. It's a set of ideals that we should always aspire to uphold. 
In November, we must vote in historic numbers, gathering all the snowflakes until there's a blizzard on Capitol Hill that no corrupt politician can survive. We must vote for decency, humanity, um, in a way, in a way of life that once again captures the imagination of kids all over the world. Um, yeah, but yep. So that, that's the only way to really vote Trump out of office is to basically gather up everybody, and hopefully they they can change their mind and fucking say, okay, we fucked up. Forty five isn't the best. Isn't isn't the greatest president? I said we need, they need to vote something else. But if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, and also hit the notification bell, that so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. Thanks for listening.